We are back in The Sims 4 and we're going to be renovating another tragic apartment. And Bowser's is going to help me as well, aren't you Bowser? <laughs> Slowly but surely we are renovating every single apartment in San Maishino. Some buildings we have even completed, but we've still got a few left to do as well. So I'm thinking over here in the fashion district, we definitely need to work on the Zen View apartments because we have one left, which is the Karaoke Legends House. Now let's check out in live mode, the Karaoke Legends House and see what we're working with and also see what kind of Sims they are so we can tailor their house to their needs or their apartment to their needs. All right, so the first thing that's a bit tragic about this apartment is the fact that they have to make room for this huge karaoke station. Like it takes up half the downstairs apartment because it's so big. And then the lounge room is kind of shoved to the side. I mean, the painting is even reaching up into the ceiling and the TV being in the middle of the room. Can you imagine the cable management if this was real life? You would have cables running all over the room. And then the kitchen in here, there are no windows. It's this huge kitchen with this teeny tiny dining table only for two people and three people live here. These are not my favorite tiles. There is a rug underneath the stove which I feel like is a fire hazard. There's also a rug under the sink. Do you guys put rugs under your sinks and under your stoves? I just wouldn't do that. I feel like they'd get really messy. So yeah, I would say this is a, a little bit, a little bit odd, a little strange. Let's go upstairs and see what we're working with. Not too bad up here. To the left, we have a bedroom and only one bedroom has access to this huge balcony. I mean, it would make a lot more sense if everyone could use this balcony. It is huge. It's not like a small private balcony. And also there's two tables out here. Why is there this table? By its lonesome over here. And then there's this one as well. It's a little strange. So we've got this really nice big bedroom. Oh, and this is the bathroom. These colors are a little muddy other than the bright green. There's no toilet paper, which you know me, I have to put toilet paper in my Sims houses. Even though they don't actually use them in gameplay, we have to have a toilet paper. You should see my toilet paper storage cupboard here. I have so much toilet paper. If you're lactose intolerant, you would understand as well. And then across the room, there's this door in the corner and this has two single beds for the other two Sims living here. And this room isn't so bad. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the carpet and the double wallpaper or that the shoes are tucked into the wall, but it's not the worst. And then they also have a bathroom in here. There's nothing on the shelves. This definitely came before the bathroom clutter kit and the bathroom update, you can tell. It's just, there's so many different colors, the blue, the red, the pink towel. It's just not coherent. And they do have toilet paper in this bathroom and it's really high up on the wall. Like if you're sitting on the toilet, you got a long way to reach. I think the most tragic thing about this apartment is the fact that the balcony can only be accessed by this bedroom. And there's also no bathroom for guests to use because you'd have to go through someone's bedroom to get to the bathroom. And then I think what's really tragic and what's definitely gonna be difficult for us is the fact that there's no windows at this end of the apartment. So let's see how we go. Also, yeah, the stairs have no railing, but that's actually not the Sims fault, that's my fault. I had to remove these when I was renovating the other apartment because there's this weird glitch with the staircases. So originally, I believe it did have a balustrade. So what Sims do we have right here? The description for the karaoke legend says, Miko's a peppy, Aspiring politician who shares a room with her basketball loving buddy, darling. Their charismatic roommate, Kibo, is downright dreamy in Miko's eyes, but he couldn't be more oblivious to her obvious flirting. Will their mutual love for karaoke bring them together? We have Akira, who wants to be a collector, level one tech guru Korea, and does not like Penny Pizzazz. They are young adults. Miko is also a young adult and is a serial romantic. In the neighborhood description, Miko is meant to have a crush on Akira, although it doesn't actually show in the relationship panel. And this confused me a little bit because darling Walsh is a teenager who aspires to be the chief of mischief, but they're meant to be Miko's best friend. So I'm really confused by that. Does that make sense to anyone? I just don't feel like your best friend should be a teenager if you're a, a young adult, you know what I mean? And then Miko is a, ju a social justice worker. Level three, nice. So that's why we need, I was gonna say a podium, but this is not a podium. This is a karaoke machine. I actually think for this renovation, the floor plan doesn't really work. I 
think it would be better if the lounge room is where the kitchen is so it can be darker to watch TV as opposed to the TV being in the room. We could also have a karaoke section at the back here and then we could move the kitchen to maybe run under this window and then we could have a nice dining area looking out of these windows. Otherwise, I feel like a lot of it is wasted. But don't worry, we will be keeping the karaoke machine and I'm just gonna extend the existing flooring. The light flooring is really good when you're dealing with a windowless portion of the house because it kind of gives the illusion that there's more light there than if you have dark walls. So let's go bam, 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 pop those lights in. And yeah, I just feel like it would make more sense to have the karaoke thing like in the corner and maybe you can perform to the lounge room over here. Then we could have like a couch curve around like this and maybe a half wall or something here. I actually planned this floor plan out a little bit uh, in a members video on the channel recently. Sometimes with these apartments that are a little bit more difficult to figure out what the best floor plan would be, I do a little bit of homework before I make the video. So if you guys are interested in seeing behind the scenes videos, kind of like that, things that I wouldn't usually share on the channel, check out memberships. There's a link in the description down below. Okay, so that's where the karaoke section would be and the lounge room. And then the kitchen would look quite good over here along this wall. This is a painting they already had in the apartment and I think we should reuse it. And then we can have our dining area over here. And also being karaoke legends, I feel like they're colorful, colorful Sims. And the original apartment had these blue walls. So maybe we just keep those as well. We'll have a bathroom upstairs that guests can use. I think it's gonna be a bit different difficult to squish it in downstairs because we really want to maximize this whole living area. I'm pop in a nice simple glass balustrade, very fashionable, and jump upstairs. We'll do more furnishing down here once we have our general floor plan figured out. I don't mind these rice paper lights. What bothers me about them is the light isn't that bright and it's yellow that comes out of them. That's why I always go for my saucy saucer lights because it's a nice crisp white light which just brightens up every single space in the house. In real life, I would hate white fluorescent lights. I'd much prefer yellow ones, but in The Sims, it's just different. Okay, this bathroom needs a, a major renovation. We can keep a few things. I'm just gonna put some posters and the rug in the inventory. We'll see what we can use. I feel like it's a, a renovation show. These must be darling sport things. We gotta get rid of this green carpet. Oh, I totally missed this whole part of <laughs> the apartment over here. Let's open up this whole section because it would be great to have two living areas. So much of this apartment was just bedrooms and bathrooms and karaoke machine space. We need to balance it more. Okay, let's turn this into a bathroom. We could open this up to be a bigger bedroom here with the windows. They bring that down a bit. And we need a bigger bedroom down this side of the house. So I'll extend that, but then you want to be able to walk from here to the decking area. I'm actually tempted just to close that off because it's bothering me that it's so like jagged all the edges. We can fit a bathroom here as well and this can be the main bathroom. Okay, let's fix up these lights because they'd be looking messy. Ah, and then you can walk out to the balcony. Also, even though we can't see what we did in our last apartment on the lower level, but we actually had a full length, a full length glass door here. So even though that doesn't match the lower apartments, it would match the one directly underneath. And I feel like it goes with the building more because this door kind of looks old and the building looks really new and the windows look really new. So I don't know why all the doors look old. I'm also gonna paint these doors just because the timber doesn't actually match the timber of the flooring. Let's get the matching console table instead because it's still a similar vibe to how it was, but then they can share the one table and this can go in the main bedroom. They have the same wardrobe, same picture on the wall. I don't think I've ever seen this poster. This is a really nice bed from high school years. I don't know why I've never used this Duna cover, but that's that's a nice neutral swatch. Then I guess we'll squeeze this over to the corner here. I kind of want to give the furniture a bit of an Ikea vibe because this family, you know, they don't have high earning jobs. So it makes sense to have more affordable furniture. But then the building that they're leasing, we can make it quite nice. Because the sim living in this room is tech guru, we should put some tech stuff in like that speaker and maybe some headphones. Actually, it would have made more sense for them to have the computer. Or maybe they did have the computer. Then which bedroom that was in? Oh no, I feel like they need a little gaming desk. We might be able to fit one out here actually. Okay, maybe 
we move the computer to this area and over here we can have this wardrobe. It can be the shared computer area. Oh, we should get some of the basketball clutter. There's like a basketball on the wall. Oh yeah, the ball and cap display. Yeah, that can go here. And Miku's quite flirty. So maybe some makeup on here. Getting ready for dates. How good is this? It's a gaming magazine next to the gaming computer. I don't know why I keep saying gaming. One desk for three people isn't much though. Okay, we'll have another desk in here. We'll make it a different desk. Because the likelihood of having two of the same desks, oh, I guess it is possible. Like, not quite as common. This looks like an Ikea chair. A mirror for getting ready. Getting ready to go out is so much fun. Like my favorite, uh, favorite memories from being a teenager, getting ready in the bathroom. And like when I used to go clubbing and stuff. I was trying to do something different to the desert luxe curtains because I literally always use that. I could do this. You know, I'm not a big fan of ticking clocks because I don't like the sound of the ticking. People love a ticking clock and they find it very calming and I'm just like, no. Nah. <laughs> I think we should have a feature wall, like a bit of timber, you know? Timber! Falling timber. Na, 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 na. We have some of it going across here and here. I like this little hidey hole, but the other idea I also had was creating like a lattice screen using the eco lifestyle pieces. And I'll show you guys what I mean. Oh, we got a lot of snores happening over here. So with the move objects on cheat, you can layer the vertical lines from Eco Lifestyle with the horizontal and make this cross hatch situation. We could get to match the flooring so then it looks more like it's been built in. Actually, if we do it over the other side, I think it'll look better because it won't clip as much. Yeah, we could do the lattice effect and then take down the walls and just have it like, like, oh, I lost it. How the city apartments camera mode is crazy. Like sometimes you just zoom across the city. That's cool. A lot of newer apartments have the concrete ceiling in Australia. I'm sure it's the trends around the world for a lot of places. Um, but we could do like a concrete roof. It's not tiled concrete though. It's just like that, like an exposed regular concrete. Or we could do double up on the timber, but I feel like that's a bit claustrophobic. Oh, I think cause the concrete's different to the timber floors, it is nicer. Or we just do like a regular painted ceiling. Oh, clouds. That's actually so cute. Maybe we can do that in the bedroom upstairs. They just painted the ceiling. In Australia, you're not allowed to even put like hooks in the walls typically in a rental without permission. So the fact they painted the wall or the ceiling is pretty cool. That takes some, some balls. Okay, so the karaoke folks. Well, the sectional surf is very, it kind of feels quite upmarket in a way. Is it Ikea enough for this family? Maybe we need, not that couch, but like a more chill couch. Wait, I think we put this couch next door. Can we use this again? There's a store nearby selling them, okay? They all got the same couch. Oh, there's this one. This is like, I borrowed the couch from my parents' house. Oh, it literally says grandma's couch. Well, maybe the the bad couch can go upstairs in this lounge area. So they just like brought that upstairs. But downstairs, Miku's tried to make it like, tried to make it look really cute. Actually, that's nice with the fridge. I think I prefer these chairs because they're more of that affordable plastic kind of material look. It's not exactly the same as the chair I'm thinking about, but there's a really lovely chair from Ikea, that plasticky texture and it's really good. And that's the chairs I think they would have here. These are, have some cute little face pods here maybe or ombre or something. Wait, did we use this rug next door? We might've used this rug next door. Let's pop the old shoe rack here. When you come into the house, you can put those there. I think this might've been in the main room. Could even do like a little built-in moment here. Although that feels very closed in, doesn't it? Ooh, let's get a bean bag in here. Yeah, nice. Bean bag. I'm trying to think about what James has lying around because James loves his tech stuff. He's always got cables, so many cables, boxes of new techie things. That's kind of what I need. Spokes for folks. It's a repair kit. Well, he does have a lot of repair kits. So maybe let's get one of those of tools and gadgets. <laughs> I feel so like old being like tools and gadgets and things. Got gadgets and gizmos are plenty. You want a thingamabob? Hey, I got 20. 
This was also in their room, but I feel like this would look better in a lounge space. Ah, oh, this looks like Lego. Now this reminds me of James's things. These hobby boxes, <laughs> some hot sauce in your bedroom. Which of you guys has hot sauce in your bedroom? I know some of you do. Just for those snacks at your desk. What about some little seedlings? He's growing some plants in here. I don't know what kind of plants. I'll leave that up to your imagination. I really like this rug. I know it doesn't really go with the beds though, but it's just a cool rug. These are just the original beds. Miku's side can be like all kawaii style. And then Darling's size side is like all basketball and posters. How to make this cute 101. Go to Pastel Pop and place all the cute things around the bed. Cute. Cute, cute, oh my gosh, rug change. Okay, we need this computer. We need this computer. Matching your bin to your rug is absolute goals. I'll never forget when I actually was looking at houses, I went to this old 70s house and it was like straight out of the 70s, maybe even the 60s. And I kid you not, the bedrooms had bedding which matched the wallpaper, which also matched the lamp. The bin, the lining on the shelves, like everything matched. There was so much effort that had gone into every bedroom in this house. It was amazing. Of course, it was very dated, but it, I mean, I still appreciated it. It's very cool. Jumping back downstairs to the kitchen, I think a black rug helps neutralize it a little bit. Do we even want cupboards here? Maybe just on one side. Yeah, because I, I don't want to cover up this window and keep it open. Actually, the sink makes more sense being over there, I think. I think you sink. I think you dink this sink. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Everyone says they ate really badly in college, like heaps of takeout food, but I don't know. I don't think I really did that. Like, I feel like that's hot. That's a lot of money to spend. And like, you don't have any money usually in college. I remember just like spending money on shoes and clothes and then just trying not to like spending as little as possible on groceries. But too many chairs in here. Maybe we don't need this many. Maybe we just have one random stool and a fruit bowl here. <gasps> Bin, we need a bin. Ooh, dishwasher, yeah, yes. And coffee, we definitely need coffee, always. I'm gonna hold down Alt and do a little sneaky maneuver here to make this place look a little bit more messy and lived in and have like a turned out seat. Maybe the clock should sit down here. Remember that clock we had upstairs? Where'd we put it? In the second bedroom, now that can be in here. Yes, we have a clock, people. Do a black table. Break it up a bit. All right, this room is bizarre without the windows and with this karaoke thing, but you can't have a karaoke family without a karaoke machine, okay? Can we all agree on that? This candid coffee table is really great because it's only 30 simoleons and some of them are fixed up a little bit. They're not all completely broken. So you can you can actually make it look quite good with a cheaper coffee table if you're trying to keep a little bit of the cost down. Although at the same time, I'm kind of loving this banged up coffee table look too. But this house is just a little bit nicer downstairs. Like Miko's tried really hard, you guys. I was thinking with the rugs, this rug over here just makes the space look a little bit more youthful. You know, it's a little bit more with the trends perhaps having a graphic on it. And then we could put these lights behind the karaoke machine. Oh, I know what we need. We need to use all of these, I can't say it, fluorescent lights that came with high school years. I'm just gonna place a few of them down. Bless you, James. I don't know if you guys could hear him sneezing. Stars and fun shapes. And maybe we can have a bar in here. Oh, record players, obviously. I actually haven't done much karaoke. I did it at Sims camp once with Life Simmer. Wait, was it Life Simmer? That was fun. I think we may have sung Fergalicious. We need a bar that's, oh yeah, like this, like a not too expensive bar. I can always face it the other way so at least Sims can still get to the bar. I think that can work. It's just a shame that we can't see all the fairy light at the front. Otherwise we could have a nectar rack, just a wine barrel. It does give me share house to be fair. Okay, I was working on this area for a while and now I feel like it looks pretty cool with the plants and the posters and a lot of it is from high school years, to be honest. And then I felt like the wall needed to be, to suit the rest of the modern building. So I put in the concrete wall. They do that a lot here in Australia, like have these concrete walls and then timber feature walls as well. So I just changed it to that. And then upstairs, it kind of bothers me, not the skirting board. The skirting board's fine, but it's a bit unusual in the more modern places to have this really thick, and detailed uh, crowning on the wall. I think I'm just gonna change that to gray. At least it's on the similar trajectory, shall we say? 
I'd actually like a softer gray than this, but I don't think that exists. Oh, actually, uh, that's more of a white. I mean, have a warm gray, but it's really not that different. We need more wallpapers. I'm glad we got some wallpapers, but we need more. I need more, I tell you. Let's spin these couches a bit. There is a fly in front of my nose. <laughs> Let's just skew this across a little bit. Center the painting with the couch. And then I feel like we need to have this chair facing this way a little bit. I mean, they're going to be having probably lots of friends over and just like, you know, everyone pull up a chair type of deal and just have some fun color and items around the place. Ooh, snack back. Yes, they have snacks. Schmores. <laughs> Small karaoke station? Now that would be a good time. That's cute on the table. Okay, upstairs can be the TV area and it can look a little less cute than downstairs. So we've got some old things here. This is where you go to watch a movie. Get a nice plant. Actually, that one's a bit big. Let's do a little one. Ooh, let's get a gaming console. I always forget about consoles. Maybe just a couple of mugs. I know it's kind of random, but sometimes I like to do makeup in front of the TV or in front of your laptop. Although you usually do it where the lighting is good and this is not good lighting. Let's just put some gaming stuff there. And just some posts. Oh, that's cool. It's cool because it reminds me of Bowser. This is the perfect spot for a bookshelf. And then there's this outdoor area. I thought just in here is a great spot for skill building. So I just put this music station right there. I mean, we could keep the existing chairs out here just to pay homage to the original design. And maybe this easel is painting this plant on the table. Actually, I think the plant looks better inside. What do you usually draw? Oh, fruit. Fruit's like the go-to thing. So you can face that towards the bowl of fruit. So then the you know, the table serves a purpose. Have this little crafty cart, maybe some incense. Although that would just blow away, wouldn't it? Some incense in here. I mean, you'd have a barbecue up here as well. Barbecue, maybe a couple of planters, nothing crazy. And there you go, I think we're finished. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about our bathrooms. Okay, so the bathrooms would just match the rest of the house. So we could do like a nice concrete look and then some simple modern tiles. Spa day, always a good time. And I think we'll keep it relatively inexpensive. I needed to add some more funds. Okay, so we'll do shower, toilet, and then we'll just do simple basin like that. This is probably my favorite basin from Tiny Living. We could repeat the wallpaper actually from downstairs for some continuity upstairs. Usually in rentals, I feel like in the bathroom, you always end up buying some kind of additional storage to put in the corner because there's never, there is never enough storage in any new apartment, in any apartment, older apartments, maybe. We have the hairdryer, some combs, all the bathroom clutter on these shelves that we can fit in here. Beautiful. And actually we'll even put it on a slight angle. Perfect. Okay. Now I truly do think I'm ready to show you guys the apartment. It is nighttime in live mode. Let's let our Sims walk around a little bit. So here it is. For some reason, the corridors always look super old and dark and don't look anything like the exterior of the building, but that's okay. And you walk in and we're back to a modern apartment. It reflects the outside of the building, which I love. Already enjoying the dining table and the new view. So much better than the first kitchen. A beautiful new bright colored kitchen. Very nice. We've got the lattice feature over here. The ceiling paint glitch is out a bit. And then this is our awesome karaoke space. Lots of life in here. Love the fairy lights, the bar. I actually really want to play Sims in this room. And I like how everything's a little off center. It just looks warm and cozy and fun. And we go upstairs. So upstairs is not as well put together. Like this is where a lot of the old stuff that the different share house Sims have brought with them. But it's still a cool and cozy space. Grandma's couch, the gaming stuff, a guitar, posters. Sit back relax, watch a movie. We've got the desk here, the headset. And then just around here, we have a balcony everyone can use and they are using. Good building spot. Oh, look at the painting area. Beautiful. That's city view. You can probably see down to the karaoke place. Or maybe that's in a different neighborhood. I can't recall. Look at these two enjoying themselves in the new barbecue. We've still got a lot of the original furniture and decoration too. Uh, let's go into this room first. So this is the share room. I'm obsessed with the ceiling. The ceiling is so cute. Oh, I always wanted clouds on my ceiling when I was a kid. 
I just remembered then. Lovely share room. You can see the two halves of the room are quite different from the basketball sporty images and then all the pastel stuff. Bit of mess in here. Another workspace, wardrobe, nice mirror. So this bedroom, if you had to get up and pee in the middle of the night, you would go through here. And this is the share bathroom or the main bathroom, I should say the little toiletry caddy. And then down here, this is the main bedroom. So you've got the wardrobe stuff there. Oh, the window's glitched out, but that's all right. You know what it looks like. And it's just nice and simple in here. It is actually a pretty good floor plan. I'm happy with what we've done here today. And then we've got the other bathroom in here. It's pretty much the same. And yeah, that's it. Look at them go. Enjoying the karaoke. It is pretty cool. It would be very cool having your own karaoke set. Oh, she's over it. <laughs> she's like, why don't you love me like I love you even though we have no relationship status at all. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to my wonderful members. If you would like to get access to bonus videos, behind the scenes updates, feel free to join members. It's a great way to support the channel and the link is in the description down below. Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Ta-da!